What's up everybody? Welcome back to Word of Mouth. My name is PJ and you are tuned in to another episode of Tick Talk Thursdays. Start with the vision, vision, then make a killing, killing. You gonna make you a million, they gonna make you a villain. If you are new to the channel or the Word of Mouth community, Tech Talk Thursdays is a little segment where I just talk about different innovations that black people have been doing in the technology space. So whether it's from physical tech, um, mobile applications, organizations, anything in technology involving black people that are founders and CEOs, it's gonna be here on Tech Talk Thursdays. And usually technology solves a problem. So today I'll be discussing the technology that does just that. Let's jump right into the problem that we have. Many customers today are preferring to use self-service kiosks. And the self-service kiosk industry is going growing at 30% every year. But the problem is only about 15% of these self-service kiosks are actually connected, meaning that they're smart. So as of right now, there is little supply to meet the growing demand. And as more data is being collected on customers and the things that they like, I know that businesses would love to maximize on the opportunity available to gather all of this information so they can better serve their customers. And if they're using a self-service kiosk that isn't smart, then they are potentially missing out on millions of dollars in revenue every single year just because they're not able to collect the information that they need to collect in order to grow along with their customer. And because Don Dixon, already had a business that operated in this uh, sort of industry or this sphere. Uh, she saw the issue and she saw the need for this, so she decided to come up with a solution. Dawn Dixon is an entrepreneur. She is the founder of Flat Out of Hills and also Popcom. Today, we'll be discussing the latter, Popcom, her revolutionary solution to solve the problem of these not smart self-service kiosks. Don is really bridging the gap between retail and technology. And Popcom offers both proprietary vending kiosks and also software that you can add to your existing self-service kiosks. So right now she's really bringing a one-two punch and taking over the market. Now I'm gonna read this out for you because according to their website, the Popcom software and API boosts marketing intelligence and customer engagement with features like demographic analysis, face and emotion recognition, conversion rate calculation, retargeting, digital and biometric payments, loyalty programs, and other things as well. It basically works like this. Um, so you could be in a high traffic area such as a mall or an airport and you see a Popcom kiosk of a product that you might be interested in. You walk over to it, uh, it can tell if you're male or female, it'll produce customized ads for you right there on the spot and you're able to pay using digital or biometric features. And during this whole process, the machine or the software has collected valuable information so that the business can stay in contact with you and reach out to you through any promotional events they have going on, uh, sales and things like that. And like I said, she offers two products. So if you already have a self-service kiosk as a business owner, then you can just uh, buy the software and attach it to your system and go ahead and rock out. But if you have neither, and you would like to get into the self-service kiosk and you think this would be a great way to get in front of your customers without actually having to own brick and mortar, you know, you can go ahead and purchase the proprietary Popcom vending kiosk. And right now they're at about $15,000. But the cool thing about this is Don has partnered with the uh, financier and they're able to go ahead and get some lending stuff for you prepared together so you can set up some pay a payment system. And at the time that I'm making this video, she's still um, looking for investors to invest in her product on startengine.com. I definitely encourage you to do some research and see if this could potentially be a good investment for you. In my opinion, this is very, very dope technology and will definitely prove to be useful. She actually already has a few people that has already bought the machine and are just waiting on them to be shipped out. So, and from her old business, or well, from her other business she has established great relationships in the retail community and she has developed the technology that will keep going um, it's not technology just here for this year or next year but this is going to revolutionize um, as self-service kiosks continue to evolve she's going to be the front runner for this 
and this technology affects our community greatly, uh, very dramatically, in my opinion, because I think one of the main reasons why a lot of us don't shop with each other right now is because that we don't even know what's available. We're not able to go out to the store and see the products in the store. But that's also because a lot of our small owned business don't have the money to go get a brick and mortar store. Or we don't have the money to go sell some items for less to have them be putting at Target or Walmart or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? But having a kiosk like this and being able to set up some payments to actually get the physical vending machine, you can set this kiosk up somewhere and this can serve as your brick and mortar. And as you put it in high traffic areas where black people are, wherever that may be in your city, you know what I'm saying? You will get more people coming, seeing your product, and able to buy it on the spot. And not only buy it, but since you're using the software, they're gonna you you are gonna be able to collect valuable information on your customer and retain more customers just like that, just from using the software and the vending machine. And that's one of the most important things about business is retaining your customer base. And through black business ownership, that, that's a key. That's what we need. We need to first have our products available and then have retainability with our customers. So I think this is very innovative tech for our community and it could be a potential game changer for any businesses who has a product that could go into a vending machine and those who want to just stay connected with their customers and keep them returning. And on another note, you know what I'm saying, once the kids start seeing more and more black business owners and black businesses out in public, they will not only start to realize that it's possible, but also see that it's just normal. There are a lot of black business owners. We just need to be more aware and have our products more out there for our community to take advantage of. And back to what I was saying before, you're a black person, if you go do some research uh, and you think this is a good potential investment for you, support another black uh, entrepreneur and especially in technology, because technology is only just gonna keep evolving. I would love for you to share this product with at least one other person, because you never know who you could be potentially impacting. You never know who would be that investor. You never know who would be the business owner who would actually need this product. So definitely spread the word about Popcom and Dawn Dixon and all the wonderful things she got going on. You can also check out her other business, Flat Out of Hills. Um, basically, um, actually you might not be able to check it out now because she's only selling that to businesses so um, you have to do more research on flat out of heels but that's one of her other businesses but definitely share this uh, popcom software and tech with somebody else i got the link to popcom and the investor page below so definitely go check that out and also if you haven't yet if you thought this video was valuable go ahead and hit the subscribe button i appreciate you listening i appreciate your time uh, thanks for tuning in and i'll catch you next time Start with the vision, vision, then make a killing, killing. You gon' make you a million, they gon' make you a villain.